so guys for this dish we're going to start by browning our meat so we're just gonna put a little bit of oil in the meat just to give it a little bit of color not to fully cook it just to brown it so because i have a lot of meat um i'm just gonna do it in um batches like this the first batch and then the second batch so this is on high heat because i want to just give it a little bit of color not necessarily cook it all the way and then you can add some rice flour or some cornstarch or any kind of flour that you want to it before you put it here you know just to quicken up the process but i don't want to do that because i don't want to add any more unnecessary calories yeah so you can see some of my meat is a little bit fatty but that's okay i like a little bit of fat especially with you know kind of meat that we're making today okay so this is gonna be on high heat and i'm just gonna let it get some color Okay, so this has gotten the color that I wanted it to get, so I'm just going to take it off. So this is not fully cooked, it's halfway cooked, just wanted to give it some color. And um, please bear it in mind that, so for this meat that I'm using, oh, some drop, the, this meat that I'm using, um, was from the freezer so it had a lot of water so it took about like 15 minutes for, for this color to happen so if you're short for time you might want to use meat that's not directly from the freezer because this should take about two to three minutes but this took 15 minutes because there was a lot of water from the meat so now we're going to go to our second batch and then we'll start the cooking. So this is the shape that you want or the size. You want to make small strip size so that it can cook easily. Yeah, as opposed to the regular cubing that you normally do. So I'm going to give this another 10 to 15 minutes without turning. So I just let it be as it is. And then after like 7 minutes, I'll turn it. So the part that is facing down will already get on some color. And then yeah, we'll start the cooking. So let me just grab this stuff over here and we'll clean this part. vegetables and then putting in the meat in the end. So the meat is not fully cooked. I would say it's halfway done. Um, yeah. For, for those who like their meat well done like me, <laughs> this to me is still raw. <laughs> But some people like it, you know, halfway done. So 
I guess for those guys they can eat it. I taste it at this point. <laughs> Mimi, mm -mm. hi Wazi, hi Wazi, hi Wazi, hi Wazi. Some of the fat from the meat came out, so we're going to use this to still continue to fry our meat. So let's get the veggies. Okay, so now we're going to cook our vegetables and I'm going to start with some scallions. Uh, I like the taste of scallions. So once the capsicums, your whole host, have cooked for about two to three minutes and you can actually start to smell them, we're going to add, so note on the meat, I didn't add any salt because I'm going to put soy sauce, which is quite salty. I use pink salt. I'm just going to put a little bit to help the onion sweat a little bit more, very little. So if you don't like salt, you might as well skip the salt part and just go directly to soy sauce. I'm also going to add some black pepper. Okay. And then I'm going to add my mixed spices. So you can add any kind of spices that you want. These are just the ones that I chose. And um, the mixed spices has a lot of spices in it. It has cinnamon, coriander, nutmeg, uh, cardamom, cloves, ginger, and bay leaves. So if you have those, you can just put them in. But it comes already done for me. So it makes it easier. dish and very colorful dish so if you're the kind of person who doesn't like a lot of spices i mean you can just do the pep black pepper and garlic and they'll be fine you know it's just what you like so i'm going to add some dark soy sauce so the dark soy sauce has a lot of salt like i said so you want to be careful with that. So for the measurements, oh, so top of the macho. You can use a teaspoon of each. Um, when in doubt, just use a teaspoon of each 
um, spice, plus the salt, and we'll be fine. So, for the soy sauce, I'd say I put like three tablespoons the soy sauce. So, the soy sauce has a little bit of a tangy taste, so we're going to add the honey. Just about three tablespoons of honey. Well, the honey you can put as high you're liking. I have a little bit of a sweet tooth, so I like it sweet <laughs> a little bit. So at this point, the onions are sweating, everything is good. We can put back our meat. Cook this for a longer, like 15 minutes. Um, for those who like well done, like fully, fully cooked like me, <laughs> if you don't, I mean, you can just do this for another five minutes and your dish will be done. So at this point, you can add a little bit of the water and cover it so that it can cook fully to your liking. Or you can just reduce the heat and let it cook as is. Oh, it smells so good up in here. <laughs> so, please do consider subscribing to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Write down in the comment section. Let me know if you tried it, how it tasted for you, and also suggest what you'd like to see me cooking next. Yeah? yeah. So, I'm going to reduce my heat and let this cook for another 15 minutes. I'm going to cover it uh, because I like my meat well done. All right. See you in 15 minutes. So guys, we have come to the end of the video. And I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you to each and every one of you who subscribed. If you're not subscribed yet, please do consider subscription. Hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Go to the comment section. Tell me what you think. Give me a comment, give me a thumbs up so that this video can be recommended to others. I am very grateful to everybody who subscribed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.